Hey friends, are you ready for it? Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you two days of cleaning, decluttering, and organizing. So much organizing and speed cleaning. Also, back to school prep, I'll be sharing a Costco grocery haul I'll be organizing my refrigerator and pantry so everything is ready to go for the school year. I'll be sharing you guys morning and nighttime routine checklists so we can kind of stay on top of our game. I'll also be using two of my Cricut machines to help with our routines, labeling school stuff to make it a little bit more fun. There's a lot in this video and I cannot wait to share. Thank you for being here with me. Thanks for hanging out and hopefully we are getting things done together. But I feel like I say this in every video that I'm really excited, but it's true. I'm going to be getting so much done in today's video and doing so much, I don't know, like a lot of different things, just getting ready for the school year. I don't know, organizing and decluttering really makes me happy. It is a very freeing feeling and just getting ready for the school year. I wanted to declutter and organize and just try to be on top of our game as much as possible. I'm gonna be creating little snack bins in the refrigerator and the pantry, like healthy snacks that are easy to grab and go. So, when Avery comes home from school, she has something, you know, easy to grab or even, you know, when I'm packing lunches, something ready to go and ready to grab. And I think the goal is to try to streamline a lot of what we have going on. So Avery's going to be in first grade and, you know, we still have the twins. Mike is supposed to be going back in the office. He's been working from home since last year, but he's supposed to be going back in the office this fall. So I'll be juggling the twins and getting Avery ready for school. So the goal is to streamline a lot of what we can and hopefully make things run as smooth as they can run. If I fall down and don't get up, nobody would care, yeah. Don't wanna be alone anymore So I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked ooh, 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 Yeah, yeah ooh, ooh, I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked ooh, ooh, Yeah, yeah ooh, ooh, I might as well sleep with the doors unlocked Never been in love, yeah I'm still waiting for the one Looking for someone who cares about my needs So this was on day one and I'm cleaning over two days in this video and on day one this was in the morning and I wanted to get some laundry going, wash our bedding, pick up the bedroom a little bit before later on like Later at the end of the day, I'll be cleaning up the kitchen, the living room, doing a little dance party with Avery, trying to make cleaning a little bit more fun. But I'm also going to be going to Costco on day one, but I'll share the Costco grocery haul at the end of the video, just because I know that not everyone likes to watch grocery hauls, but I'll be organizing those groceries in the refrigerator and the pantry. Like I said, I'm going to be creating some after school and morning checklist for Avery so she can follow them a little bit more easily, be a little bit more independent, and just make sure that she gets everything done that she needs to. I also have a crock pot freezer meal I'm going to be creating to try to, you know, make those busy weeknight, weeknights flow a little bit better. So there's a lot that's going to happen over these next two days, and I hope you're ready for it. Avery and I were doing our little nightly cleanup routine while Mike was upstairs with the twins, getting them ready for bed. We were doing some dancing, trying to make 
cleaning up a little bit more fun. We had 90s pop going. So I was introducing her to all of the music that I listened to growing up. Um, but on day two, I'm going to be doing a bulk of the cleaning, decluttering, organizing because I was going to have a lot of or more free time. Avery was going to my parents' house to swim. Um, both of our parents have been taking Avery a lot for the day just because they know she's going back to school. So she was going to go to my parents' house to swim. And then the twins were going to be at a summer camp. So they go just for a few hours um, in the morning and then they would be napping. So I had planned on day two trying to get as much as I could done. Um, but I'm also going to be, you're seeing me clean my stove top and kind of my process for that is I go in with a degreaser. So I always want to go in with a degreaser, get everything I can off of the stove top with that first. And then I go in with the Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser, let that sit for a few minutes while I scrub my sink. And then I'll go back to scrub off the baking soda cream cleanser. So a question I got asked in my last video was, do not wear your wedding ring when you clean. And if you guys are very observant, you may notice that you probably very rarely see my me with my wedding ring on, which kind of makes me sad just because I love my wedding ring, but I'll tell you why I don't wear it very often. It doesn't fit me some days or most days of the week. And if any of you guys are familiar with rings and like fitting, I don't know, maybe you know anything about this, but some days it fits me and other days it doesn't when it doesn't fit me it's because my fingers are swollen and so you know you naturally think of um like i have not gained any weight but then it like totally fits me on other days so like weight isn't the issue but i mean i have not gained any weight i kind of tie it back that i think it may be due to like if i have days that i eat more sodium than other days but it's just crazy to me because it's not like like i get it like let's say i go out go out you know you eat out most meals when you eat at a restaurant have a lot more sodium than if you would make something at home so like i get it if i go out to eat and i eat like a stuff with a ton of sodium okay yes i get that maybe it's not going to fit the next day i eat out for sure it will not fit me the next day but even when i don't eat out if i'm just at home and i don't eat anything that i don't think has like that much sodium I literally cannot even get my ring on my finger and it just gets to a point where it's just so uncomfortable I don't wear it. I thought about getting it resized but then on those days that it does fit then I think that having it resized it would be way too big and so I just I don't know what's going on. I don't know why I mean it's not because it's the summer because it was like that back in the winter time. So I don't really don't know what the reason for my fingers being swollen is and like I said it kind of fluctuates back and forth and then the other thing I thought of was like time of month more water retention but there's no correlation to that at all so I have no idea what's going on I don't know so if you guys have any suggestions let me know Avery comes home from school, she's starving. Well, it's 4.15, I don't wanna disrupt 
dinner um and then she's always wanting a snack like something super sweet like candy or something and of course you know i let her live her life sometimes but for the most part there are times where i'm like nope you can only have a healthy snack or things like that and i find that if i have healthy snacks readily available easy to grab easy to you know grab and go she's much more likely to eat those healthy snacks so that was kind of like my plan for this. So I even put some um, cucumbers and carrots in a little baggie. She can grab those. I put some avocado ranch dressing. She loves dipping her veggies in ranch. So for me, it's like she's more likely to eat the veggies if she has the ranch dip and it's in those cute little cups, which I reuse, but she can grab a little baggie of carrots, grab some dip, and she's like I find that she eats them way more frequently. So this is her little bin. It's all hers, healthy snacks that she can grab after school or we can even grab for lunches. And this will also be great for when I'm packing a lunch, you know, maybe at night when I'm tired, I can just grab a bunch of stuff from here because it's all ready to go. So let's hope, cross my fingers, that I can stay on top of this throughout the school year. Like a lighthouse in a dream, really distant by your beam. It's guiding me home. So cold. Doing the same thing in the pantry, we have things and I got this basket from Target. I've actually had it for a long time, so I'm just, it's like a reuse. Um, and then I also got these from Target. These are some of my favorite cheap organize, like drawer organizers, but I think it would be nice um, to kind of categorize things off over here. And I- So like I said, Avery is going to be in first grade this year. She is our first child in school. So she was in kindergarten last year and we were just trying to feel out how real school went, if that made sense. And I mean like real school, not preschool, you know, school with homework, a lot of papers being sent home. So we were just trying to feel it out last year, decide what we needed to stay organized. And I did a few things last year and I think it was a test year for us to see how things went. So this year I'm trying to add in some more organization to kind of make the mornings and the night times run as smooth as possible. There's a few things I wanted to make in order to have those routines run smooth, but then I also, since I was like busting out my Cricut machines, I wanted to go ahead and label all of Avery's school stuff and get a head start on organization for the twins. And a big reason why I like labeling with my Cricut makers is because I can make it fun and it just looks cute with you know, different fonts, cute fonts, and sparkly vinyl, which Avery loves. It's just a simple way to make going back to school and makes that time of back to school that much more fun. You're going to see me use two different Cricut machines. My Cricut Joy, which is it's small but mighty. It's perfect for labeling. I just like it because it's a quick, easy, simple way to just label things. Cute cute things too. Um, and I'm also going to be using my Cricut Explore Air 2 to make some bigger labels and designs for the twin school year bins. You guys have seen me use my Cricut machines for over a year now. And I think these machines are just simple ways to label, create home decor, and gifts for friends and family. And last year we actually lost Avery's lunchbox. I had it labeled. I just used like some like sticky 
something like I didn't uh, I didn't use my Cricut machine to label. So this year I wanted to make for sure I used some permanent vinyl to make sure we wouldn't lose that lunchbox. And I know the Cricut machines can be a little intimidating, but I just needed a few things to create really cool customizable projects. So I used Cricut Design Space to design everything that I needed for today's projects, which you can use Cricut Design Space for both machines that I'm showing, so the, the Joy and the Explore Air 2. And so I just designed my designs in Design Space. I cut out my design, weeded the vinyl, I added transfer tape, and then easily applied it to everything that I was labeling. And I also am excited because I'm, I'm gonna make some Ohio State Buckeye shirts for the girls this fall. It's just a simple way that we can save money instead of buying those expensive shirts because you know they're expensive because they have to be licensed for the university. And it's like my sport shirts I can wear year after year, but the girls grow out of it. So it's like, like, uh, especially for the twins. It's like I'm buying two shirts, you know? So I'm going to get crafty and I'm excited because I'm excited for football season to make the girls some shirts. I'm creating is this daily outfit organizer for Avery so on Sunday nights we will pick out all of her outfits we'll agree to that and then she cannot change that last school year you know we would pick stuff out and then she would want to change it and of course if something changes with the weather other than that we are sticking to this and I just think we can add that to our normal Sunday night routine as we prepare for the upcoming week um, you guys know that I have twins and Mike's supposed to be going back to the office. So with all of that, mornings can get kind of hectic and Avery is old enough to be independent, obviously get dressed herself. So if all of that is there ready and waiting that she can grab, I just think it will help mornings run more smoothly. So I made one of these tubs or bins for Avery a couple of months ago because she was bringing, you know, a ton of stuff home from kindergarten. I just didn't know what to do with it. So I broke down, just spent some time and created one for her. And I'm so glad I did. I mean, honestly, it probably took me less than a half an hour to do this. So I'll have everything that I used linked down below. I mean, it's just, it looks hard, but it's so simple. And the labels for the file folders, um, I actually got them off of a blog because I thought they were cute. I'll try to find it. I had a lot of people say the link didn't work anymore. I'll try to find it. But if it doesn't work, I mean, you don't have, I mean, you can make your own. You can write it. It doesn't need to look perfect. Um, but yeah, definitely take the time to do this. And then your kids are set until they graduate from high school. finished bins and it's nice because I really don't have anything to put in theirs but at least it's done ready to go Avery already has stuff in hers with her little school picture um, it just feels nice to at least have this done and ready to go and we are set for the next 12 years every moment tonight they lend me to you so my next back to school prep project was creating a checklist checklist for Avery to check off when she gets home from school you know if Mike and I are busy doing other things it's like okay what do I need to do I like having her to have direction so I have this little checklist routine to-do list for after school and morning and I totally know I have a typo with the unpack I was honestly rushing to get this done so I'll have to go back and fix it it's super easy um, I created these on canva.com I'll have that linked in the description but this was a template so all I did was alter the text so it's so easy to create this they have so many templates that you can use 
but I put it in one of those sheet protectors like the plastic sleeves and then she can use a dry erase marker and cross it off and I think it's fun for her. She's six like she needs a routine. She needs a little bit of direction and when she comes home I like that she doesn't have to ask me necessarily like what do I need to do? It's okay go to your checklist read it and then get going um, do that type of stuff so it's just kind of something nice for her to focus on when she gets in the door if i'm not able to you know sit down and tell her exactly what to do This honestly was such a crazy day, you know, and when I'm watching it back and editing, it just looks like so seamless. It was just, it was a crazy, crazy day. I was juggling everything. Mike was so busy with work this day. I think he had meetings, like a, a set meeting from nine to four, like straight Zoom, like on camera meeting from nine to four. I think he had a little break for lunch. So I took the twins to summer camp, picked them up. We had lunch, we played a little bit. So I was like cleaning in the morning on and off taking breaks then cleaning in the afternoon while the twins were napping and then i finished up at night but um it was also a crazy day of storms so we had been having a lot of storms like uh, two nights in a row everyone woke up well not the twins but avery woke up our dog our poor dog Reese struggles with anxiety that's why some of the trim is messed up in our house which we're trying to fix we're just having trouble finding the right trim but she has anxiety with storms and so she was like pacing in the middle of the night she even went to the bathroom in the middle of the floor with the how bad of the storms were so this day storms are going on and off it was not storming when you're seeing me right now um I stopped and spent time with her when it was storming um, but it was just such a crazy day of storms I don't know I don't know how to explain it but my poor dog Reese but at least we can be at home with her to make it a little bit easier. So something I'm trying to do as we get into the busy school year is slowly make freezer meals every once in a while um, where I can just like when I don't know what I'm going to make or if we just need something easy and kind of ready to go, I can grab one of these freezer meals. And this one is Crock-Pot Meatball Parmesan Soup. It's super easy because you know that's how I do it. Simple ingredients. Um, but you just put in a bag of frozen meatballs a jar of marinara sauce, a can of diced tomatoes, some chopped uh, uh, carrots, a cup of chopped onions and sweet peppers, and that's it. I labeled it, and then you do add some beef broth when you actually cook it in the crock pot, but I'm not gonna add that right now. But I got this recipe from The Family Fudge here on YouTube, and I'll have her video where she shows this in the description.
At this point, I was just going through Avery's clothing. She was not home, so like I kind of wanted to do it without her around to properly go through her clothes, figure out what fits what doesn't fit i can eyeball i can tell what's gonna fit her or not we were actually going school shopping two days after this so i wanted to go through all of her clothes and figure out what she needed i wanted to have like a running list of clothes that she needed um so i was able to get rid of some clothes or not get rid of them pack them away for the twins when they get into Avery size, um, but I was able to pack those away and then reorganize everything in her drawers and closet. So I promise we're going to get to that Costco haul, but I had just gotten some wipes from Costco and then we hit Costco and then we had stacked up on some diapers from Target. So while I was decluttering and organizing um, like everything in the house, I was like, all right, I'll organize these diapers and wipes in the twins' room. And we usually get our diapers from Target, except the nighttime diapers we do get brand name just because they pee through their diapers so they're the overnight name brand diapers but we use the target brand up and up diapers and they usually have a sale it's usually like 10 percent off we'll usually get like a couple big boxes because we go through so many but i was just organizing all of those and then i was going to go and do some basic cleaning in our master bathroom i did so much over the past two days i just was not cleaning a lot of like the rest of the house or even the bathrooms but the master bathroom is like the one area i'm like i cannot let go i need to do a basic wipe down um toilet and floors so that's what i was gonna do If you guys have any back to school routines or suggestions, tips that really worked for your kids, specifically when they were, you know, six, seven, um, first graders, let me know. Like I said, it's all kind of new to me. First kid trying to figure all of this out. So let me know if you guys have any tips, tricks, or things that really helped your kids. guys the Costco haul and I bought this coat <laughs> um, I'll put you on the tripod so you guys can kind of see so you guys can kind of see it I know it looks a little bit ridiculous because I have shoes on but it was perfect I thought like I just like it has um, it's like two different materials and it's just a little bit of a lightweight coat even here in Ohio it gets pretty or cold during the winter but if you're just like getting in the car to run into a store or run errands sometimes it's nice to have something 
a little bit more lightweight than like your heavy winter coat. So this is only $14.99, so I picked it up. Okay, please disregard the talkative toddlers in the background. I got this five cheese tortellini. Um, all of my girls love tortellini, so I picked it up for something quick and easy meal-wise. I got some new razors, or a new razor plus um, cartridges, or blades, whatever you wanna call them. I've just, I've always just used disposable razors, and I think it's time that I get a good one. So I got this, and they can be so expensive, and I thought at Costco, it's gotta be cheaper buying it in bulk. A lot of this stuff is good after school snacks or stuff to put into Avery's lunches. Applesauce, I got these cups. I've got them, got them before, but the twins just never could get the hang of it or they'd be super messy, but they finally are better with using a spoon and not getting it everywhere. So I thought these would be cheaper than constantly getting the applesauce pouches. Uncrustables. Just another alternative to peanut butter and jelly. We're always using or making peanut butter and jelly, but sometimes you just need something super quick and easy. String cheese, another good idea for the twins and for Avery in her lunches. We actually have not been getting a lot of string cheese lately, so I think they kind of got burnt out on it, so I'm gonna start it back up. We have never tried this chicken noodle soup, but it's something that I do know all three of my kids like. And again, I was looking for easy meal ideas. If it's like a night we have some type of activity or I don't feel like cooking, something quick and easy that I know everyone likes. Yogurt tubes, staple when we go to Costco. Okay, so mozzarella sticks, you guys, when it comes to appetizers, when, when we go out, if we get an, um, an appetizer, I always go for the mozzarella sticks. I love mozzarella sticks and if I'm like hungry at the end of the night and I actually want a snack like a food snack and not something sweet this is what I go to I don't eat them a lot but I love these mozzarella sticks and I'm a believer that not all mozzarella sticks are created equal and these are good and there's a lot that comes in here uh, yogurt Greek yogurt everyone in the house eats this eats this type of yogurt so we go through it pretty quickly. I got Skinny Pop. I was looking for quick and easy healthy snack ideas for Avery after school as well as well as to throw into her lunches. So I got these bags of Skinny Pop plus when she has friends come over they're always like we want snacks. So Skinny Pop I think is a good snack because everyone likes it and it's healthy. I got these layered fruit bars, which are really, really good. I actually just opened them because the twins said they wanted a snack and they scarf these down. So they're really, really good. And Avery likes them as well. Um, I got this white queso. We all love our queso around here. I got finish jet dry. We put this in our dishwasher. It's one of the only things we have found that will leave our dishes dry in the dishwasher. These Nature Valley almond butter biscuits. I actually bought two of these boxes and we will probably be out of these in like a couple of weeks. We love these, I love these, uh, they're so good. I think one of the hardest parts is trying to keep myself from only having one every single day. Applesauce pouches, another staple when we go to Costco. Um, these guacamole cups, I love guacamole. And, and the twins even love to dip. That's what they call it, dip dip. So I like to keep these on hand for taco nights or even just as a side because the twins will eat it plain or they like dipping veggies or chips into it. I think it just makes eating a little bit more fun. Premier protein shakes. I add this into my coffee in the morning. Chicken breasts. We go through a lot of chicken as a family. We're more of a chicken eaters than red meat. So I got my chicken here. I got these, we've never gotten these before. They're Girl Scout Thin Mint Almonds. And again, I was looking for healthier, healthy-ish snacks for Avery after school. She hasn't been the best eater lately, 
And so I'm really trying to focus on, you know, trying different things um, to throw into her lunches when we pack it and when she comes home, giving her, because she's always hungry when she gets home from school. So I want healthy snacks on hand. And I thought Girl Scout Thin Mint Almonds sounded pretty good. <laughs> In a minute. And then I got these chicken melts, which it's just like chicken and cheese and a, like a little pocket sandwich. Again, not the healthiest, but something easy. And we've had them before and they are pretty good. I got some baby wipes. Their diapers were on sale, but we typically get our diapers from Target and they're cheaper at Target. <laughs> they're cheaper at Target than even with the sale at Costco. So I just got the wipes because they were on sale as well. And then I got some of this. It's the, it's like the vitamin water, but the Kirkland brand because, so I hope you enjoyed that Costco haul with the crazy girls behind me. I hope it wasn't too distracting or annoying, but we are ready for school. We're ready for lunches, healthy snacks. We are as prepared as we can be. But I'm thinking that I left this at the end of the video. Who knows what I'm editing. So if you stayed all the way through, thank you. And I will see you guys next time. We're ready for school. Hopefully you are too. Hopefully this video helped you. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.